Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we left off, we had just touched down in Highland Park after finally finishing off the Detroit hub. Chapter 6, Moving Shadows. Decrypted data contained in a dead man's neural hub pointed Jensen to an abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Flown there by Farida Malik, Jensen sets out to investigate the area. Little does he suspect what he will find. Ooh. All right. So let's get moving. I think I read the objective last time. In the transmission. Investigate the area. The terrorist in the morgue was being controlled by someone else, and Pritchard thinks the hacker who did the controlling was operating from this area. I need to search for signs of him. Okay. Pretty straightforward. MCB, DRB... That door works, but let's go over here and talk to these guys. I ain't gonna mess with them, boys. You look like you could give them a run. Send a few home in a bag. That'll teach you to mess around with us. And you, send a few home in a bag. That'll teach you to mess around with us. Yo, some guy with the scope is watching the slums. Keep your head down. We do the job, but they're sporting some heavy shit. We do the job, but they're sporting some heavy shit. Yo. What's good, man? You looking for some new toys? I can make you a good deal. Get info. I could use some information. I could tell you some shit for sure. What you want to know? You guys seen anything suspicious going down around here? Suspicious ain't the word, man. All types of caravans moving in and out of here. They're going all out. Who is they? Well, that's the problem. These motherfuckers ain't consistent, for real. The feds were buying up all the land from the textile manufacturers until about a month ago. That's when some started going down in this bitch. Some real. What you call it before? Suspicious. Word, suspicious. Something real suspicious started happening. These spec ops moved into the factory and started running some sort of major operation. They picked off my brother for trying to set up shop in the area. Rest in peace, Big Rizzle. Yeah, rip. These spec ops still around? Yeah, no doubt. They got a patrol unit in the courtyard, and they got snipers on the roof and shit. Thing is, I saw some government vans lurking around, so it looks like they be moving their party somewhere else and making way for the feds once again. Thanks. All good. Anything else? Buy items. Let's see what he has. Might be a good idea to stock up. What do you have? Shit, son. We got some hot items right now. Check it out. What you need? Leading software upgrade for tranquilizer rifle or crossbow. No. Check out his selection of ammunition. Purchase one gas and one EMP grenade. Now that is useful. I'll take a grenade back. Good choice, son. Anything else? Let's check out his ammo selection. I could use some more ammo. Trank rifle, shotgun, crossbow. No thanks. We're good. I'm good for now. Thanks for the offer. All good, son. Peace. And watch your back. Now here's what I don't know. Let's just find out if these guys give any combat experience or not. Hey, hey, get up. You dead man. The answer's no. Okay, good. Anyway, we haven't seen either of these, so let's check it out. Gas Grenade. G-Tech R-Series CS Gas Discharger. Use. Non-lethal gas used to knock, out mul to knock multiple targets unconscious at once. Warning. Ineffective against robots. Description. The R-Series CS Gas Discharger is a standard tactical anti-personnel gas grenade capable of discharging CS gas, also known as tear gas, over a defined radius. A hand-thrown device, the grenade has no effect against inorganic targets or targets equipped with sealed envir environment masks or rebreather augmentations. 
However, against unprotected organic targets, the discharge cloud causes temporary loss of vision and a nausea reaction. Upgrades. The gas grenade is not upgradable, but can be turned into a very effective gas mine when combined with the Mark 87 tactical munition mine template. Manufacturer, Military Arms of Ostrava. An EMP grenade. Pulsar Type E Electromag Grenade. Use. Permanently disable robots and security devices. Temporarily impede augmented opponents. Warning. The EMP shielding augmentation upgrade completely negates the effect of EMP grenades. Description. A hand-thrown device, the Pulsar Type E Electromag Grenade is a specialized anti-systems grenade capable of generating a localized electromagnetic field pulse that renders nearby electronic circuitry inoperative. While it has no effect against organic targets, the grenade is extremely useful in disabling robots, augmented humans, security cameras, and automated defensive turrets. Upgrades. The Pulsar Type E cannot be upgraded, but can be turned into a highly effective EMP mine when combined with the Mark 87 Tactical Munition Mine Template. Manufacturer, Steiner Bisley GmbH. Awesome. Let's see, is there anything upstairs? Or inside here? Yes, back here we have Combat Rifle ammo and a cyber boost pro energy bar if I hop up here let's well let's check inside here first automatic unlocking device and combat rifle ammo okay that's it as far as trailers go but let's hop up this fire escape and see what we find <sighs> Hmm. Well, I don't think I can make this jump, but I do want to show you the Icarus landing system because it's neat. You can use it to stun enemies, which is kind of fun. Anyway, let's move along. Right here, we got 95 credits. Humanity's biggest mistake. Public protest in front of Lim. Stepping stones. MCB. And if I remember right, here comes a cutscene. before we did. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. I'll make the call. Get out of sight, now. Why, what's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. So that completed investigate the area, got us a thousand XP. New goal, M10, following the clues in Highland Park. Primary objectives, infiltrate the mercenary compound. No sign of a hacker yet, but the mercenaries who attacked us six months ago are here, using an old textile warehouse as their base camp. I've got to get inside that compound. Fuck. I'm going in. Pretty straightforward. 55 credits. Hard to go wrong with that. Alright. 
Let's handle some bad guys. <clears throat> So like we got five guys out in the courtyard, so naturally I want to turn that into two double takedowns. There is a ghost bonus here, so we can't get spotted. This is for my man. I hate running with our tail between our legs like this. Orders are orders. Besides, we're about to pull out anyway. Just waiting on confirmation about you. I still can't believe he's dead. Three months on the cover with those purity freaks, and something blows it at the last minute. You mean somebody? Maybe even the same guy who got inside that morgue before we did. Man, I'd like to get my hands on that brain. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Yep. Damn. Okay. I'm feel like uh I'm just bashing my head against a brick wall here. Orders are orders. Besides, we're about to pull out anyway. Just waiting on confirmation about you. I still can't believe he's dead. Three months on the cover with those purity freaks. Something blows it at the last minute. You mean somebody? Maybe even the same guy who got inside that door. Let's just take some time and actually watch their patrols.
Looks like I got a total of six dudes out here. This one looks like he's just standing here. Let's try and pull this guy closer, maybe. Someone hiding over there? Or maybe that guy. That works too. Hello? On oh damn. Uh, that would have been good. This is Fubon, man. I hate running with untapped and things like this. Orders are orders. Besides, we're about to go around everything. Okay. I knew I should have saved earlier. I've got a possible visual. Get over there, confirm. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you over there! Oh! Crud. Uh goodness. Trying to bring the bad guys closer together. I've got a possible visual. Over there! Oh. Damn it. I'll get it, I'll get it, don't worry. I already know I can pull that guy over here. I've got a possible visual. Hostile in the air. Ah, oh, come on. Did he just spin the wrong direction? He must have. I've got a possible visual. Hostile oh, in the air. Oh. I'm going to lose it. Yes, I want you to come over here. I've got a possible visual. Converge on target. Really? I've got a possible visual. Okay. I just need to go around that guy on the other side of him. Then I think this will all actually work out. I've got a possible visual. Take him out. <clears throat> I can't figure out what helps it decide if I get spotted or not. Like, if they go hostile or not. Get over there, confirm. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you'd better come out. Feels like you're chasing after ghosts again. Looks clear. Uh, now he's just, I think now he's just going to stand there. There's someone jumping around over there. Ah, uh, 
Jensen. Let's go get something to throw. Maybe we can pull these guys together that way. It's usually the best option anyway. I heard something. I'm gonna go check on it. Hostile in the air! Why did he come over here? All right, Jensen, come on, you can do this. I heard something. I'm gonna go check on it. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you'd better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. False alarm. Over Out there! Hold it! Uh, he... He must... Well, I don't know how he's deciding to come over here. Because he's not seeing me throw it. His back is turned. If only he would walk close enough to the standing dude, but I know he's not going to. Not without some encouragement, anyway. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Hostile in the air. Yeah. Still not close enough. Certainly can't have that. This is killing me. Folks. I'm sorry this is turning into such Easy. a pain. I saved here? Really?
that. Time to unload! Damn it! Oh, I understand why double takedowns are worth more, but damn if they are hard hard to set up sometimes. Did you hear that? Go! Go! I should have known they'd be able to see me. Go over there. Over hey, there! Oh. Damn it. Looks clear. We've got lead in the air. So close, so close, Jensen. Looks clear. Shit. Looks over here. Why? The other guy's patrol keeps resetting, so he's just standing at the very end of it, not moving. Looks Hostile on the ground. Damn it. Easy it was nothing. Did you hear that? I need to gradually get him closer, but always shoot the bullet closer to him so that he's the one who investigates. And I need to manage it without getting spotted. Maybe I should go left instead of right, even though I get a cleaner look at him if I go this way. Did you hear that? Hear that? False hostile on the <sighs> Easy, Shit. nothing. Looks clear. <laughs> now, did I manage that without them going hostile? That is the question. This one's got cre 15 credits in combat rifle ammo. That one's got combat rifle ammo. What I don't know is whether anybody went hostile or not. Pretty sure they didn't. 
And I tell you what, I'm just, I'm not certain enough to go with it. So let's try this one more time. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Over there! Hold it! Oh, come on! I had the cue and Jensen didn't move. Gotta bust it there, son. Looks clear. Did you hear that? There we go. There, I know I'm okay. Alright. So let's get his 15 credits. And I got a Praxis point, which I'm going to use to unlock Move Throw Heavy Objects. Okay. Next, I think I want Cloak. Which I believe takes two Praxis points to unlock. Yes, it does. That's fine. There are four more guys out here, but... Oh, it feels good to get those first two. I'll casually let my takedown recharge. Seventy-five credits. Hard to argue with that. But, you know, before I loot, I should focus on taking down everybody else. Oh, perfect. If he wants to come down close to this guy, that'll be easy. Hello. If anyone's hiding here, you'd better come out. Sounds like you're chasing after ghosts again. It's the time. Nothing here. Oh, what? Jensen does a single, even though there are two dudes. Guess I should be used to that. Okay. Close. Very close. Waste of time. Nothing here. I've got a on the oh, come on. Just, I gotta pay attention to the whole radar. That's the lesson here. Don't 
to report a shadow, I guess. Shit, was that a bullet? No, don't come back here. Finish your patrol. Ugh. We'll get it, folks. Don't worry. No need to report a shadow, I guess. Shit, was that a bullet? Need to pull these two out of the way with a quickness. Let's drag them over here. All right. Four down, two to go. I'll need to bring them together if possible, of course, but for now, let's see what these guys have on them. Revolver ammo and a credit chip. So I'm guessing this gun here is a revolver, which I actually haven't seen yet, so let's check it out. Revolver. Diamondback 357 Magnum. Use high damage, medium range weapon with a slow firing rate. Description Often used as backup weapons by corporate security agents or law enforcement officers, the Diamondback 357 Magnum is a heavyweight double action revolver with a swing out cylinder. Its compact but dense frame makes it a powerful weapon, but its short effective range and low ammunition capacity are the trade off for the damage it delivers. Upgrades The Diamondback supports all standard upgrades as well as a unique one. The revolver's barrel can be enhanced to launch ammunition as an explosive, as explosive delayed action fragmenting rounds, thus adding area effect to the weapon's normal damage to target ratio. The gun does not support a sound suppressor, but it is capable with laser target, but it is compatible with laser targeting systems. Manufacturer Mustang Ad Tech Ltd. So we get the special explosive rounds upgrade laser targeting. Rate of fire, 3 out of 10 can upgrade to 4. Reload speed, 4 out of 10 can upgrade to 7. Damage output, 5 out of 10 can upgrade to 8. Ammo capacity, 2 out of 10 can upgrade to 4. I'm not going to carry it, but there it is. Alright. Let's go after these last two guys now. I think pulling them together shouldn't be as hard. Up oh, too, too long. I was trying to let the one guy see me so he'd walk over here. Maybe if I move a little faster, I could still pull that off.
Wrong one. Delightful. All right. 25 credits, four combat rifle bullets. Nothing. Anyway, now we should be free to loot, explore, whatever we want. I can move these big containers now. That's fun. Combat rifle ammo. I'm pretty sure that's everybody out here, but... Pays to take it slow and be certain. Hey, 100 XP exploration bonus. Automatic unlocking device, 150 credits. Typhoon ammo. Love it. Alright, inside this trailer we get a hundred credits and stun gun darts. And nothing else, which is plenty. In here, we got nothing, but right here there's a concussion grenade and some combat rifle ammo. Now look at this. Steiner Bisley Industries. Box guard. Robot should be moving at least every 21 days. This will maintain lube coating on vital parts and prevent damages. Huh. Robots. Inside here we get a stun gun and some stun gun darts. Combat rifle ammo in this crate. We'll worry about that trailer in a minute. Another box guard inside the truck. Nothing else. Nothing under any of those. That passes to a new area. He'll stay out here for now. Plenty of box guards. Here's an electrical grid of some sort. Let's check this trailer first. In here we got combat rifle ammo. A laser targeting system and a newspaper. Intense fighting in NT standoff. Australia's civil war came closer to ending today as Bell Tower's 12th Commando Regiment successfully quelled an insurgency in the Northern Territory. <coughs> Pro China rebels, <coughs> excuse me responsible for the uprising have been demanding that the South Australian Federation release control of vital oil reserves and recognize the northern government in exile. Suspect in custody after Olympia bomb attack. Law enforcement officials have arrested Joshua Corbin, 33, in connection with Saturday's car bombing at the Washington State Capitol in Olympia. Officials say the man, accused of driving a bomb-laden SUV into the Capitol building, was a key member of the separatist terror group New Sons of Freedom, NSF. NSF, there you go, awesome. In a written statement to the press, the NSF called for the Pacific Northwest to secede from the United States. The rambling political screed also made the claim that Corbin is being held illegally in a secret FEMA internment camp outside Seattle. When asked about these accusations, Thomas Shea, executive director of FEMA, quipped, 
We can't be expected to respond to every lunatic who thinks the government is out to get them. And we've got a pocket secretary. Inventory check from DETWKS0010 at sec.fema.net to rramsey at sec.fema.net. Ramsey, do me a favor, will ya? Check and see if Johnson's meditating inside one of those disposal pods again. I swear the man can be real sick sometimes. I keep telling him just because this place is new doesn't mean those coffins ain't seen usage out west. Gross. All right. Let's hack this scaffolding, this gateway first. We have the code for it. Zeke Sanders gave it to us. But naturally, we're going to hack this level 3 grid. Okay, I think I see the best way in. It's just to capture the red. Easy. Access granted. Both data stores, nuke virus and a stop worm. 75 XP for the hack. Now in here, we got a frag grenade, a shotgun, and shotgun cartridges. Okay. Now if we head up this ladder... We come to another entrance, a roof entrance. Which is a good enough way in, but I don't want to start inside just yet. But I'll pick up the 50 credits, the peps energy pack, don't mind if I do. That takes me out to sort of the main factory floor. I think this does the same thing, except downstairs. We got combat rifle ammo. an office of some sort there. 65 credits. This, I think, is the main entrance. Yes. Let's head over here before we commit to actually going in. Over here, we find an ebook. IPC Procedures and You. In times of national crisis, an IPC representative may be responsible for processing hundreds of people within a 24-hour period. New detainees are being received at the IPC or processed through the Prisoner Search Area, AFIS, Property Inventory, Booking, Fingerprints, Medical Screening, and Inmate Classification Division before being assigned to one of the facility's indoor containment cells. Deputies and command staff have designed a receiving system, RCV, to increase the efficiency in which prisoners can be processed and once they arrive. Please slip to Appendix B, page 213, for more details. Interesting. We got sniper rifle ammo and revolver ammo there. Oh, there's a dude there. Gotta be careful. Hack this terminal as soon as he walks away. The code works here too, but... Access granted. 75 XP from the data store, 50 for the hack, and we've shut down the lasers. And that's also out to the factory floor, so I'll tell you what, that entrance looks extremely exposed. I think the roof entrance is, or 
I can get to I can get upstairs from here. I think coming in from the top is probably our best bet, but let's check out this office because I did see a security terminal in here. FEMA camp, detention blocks, locker rooms, medical bay, interrogation area. We got tranquilizer darts, we got the same newspaper I read in the trailer outside. Got 80 credits. Got a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. Looks like I got plenty of dudes. And of course, the computer I'd like to hack, but... I'm worried someone will see me. Spaxor, Password Neural Hub. We got that from Zeke too, but I would rather hack it, of course. What do we got here? I show two data stores. Access granted. 100 XP in one, 100 credits in another. Plus 75 XP for the hack. Anyway, no turrets connected, still don't have bot domination. But let's do turn off the cameras. That will make things easier. Alright. Now let's scope things out out here. I'm showing two guards. I feel like I can probably pull them together over in the corner. Uh, I was going to say, if I let one of them see me, but they both saw me at the same time. That makes things tough. Hey, we got a vent. Where does this go, I wonder? Oh, right out here. Not even an exploration bonus. How sad. Someone hiding over there? Oh, damn. I didn't want him to see me. I saw the farther guy pointed over here and got excited. I tell you what I'd rather do if I can of course neither of them can actually be looking at it over there mm, Jensen 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 no 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 Let's go out this way.
What kind of mess is this? I was hoping I could pull them both into the office. It doesn't look like that's gonna happen. No, the other one's completely unalerted. Okay, something along those lines will work, since they did just move together. I just, I think I need to... I think I need to hide in the other direction, if that makes sense. I'm confused about what just happened to that guy. Mainly, I do not know why he fell over. Something strange is going on. I still don't know what's happening to him. Like he's fallen over in pain. Maybe I'll wait a little bit. Oh, I do not want to wait for him to smoke. That takes forever. Oh, okay. Guess he only wanted one quick puff. Not what I was after. That was. Keep your eyes open. Something's wrong. I've got a possible visual. That was close. That was very close. And what I really want is for both of them to come up here. I 
I don't like what's going on here. I don't think I'm going to quite manage that, though. Yeah, he's smart enough to come nowhere near here. Keep your eyes open. Something's wrong. You hear someone jumping around over there? Ah, oh, goodness. There's a way to do this. I know that much. Hey, they're both up. Keep your eyes open. Something's wrong. Oh, if only I'd moved a little faster. single. I just gotta get through there a little bit faster and I'll have them. Stop! Stop! Just got another idea. Have to move fast for it to work though. Something strange is going up. Over there! Oh, if I just... If I don't mess up those jumps, I think I can get behind the door in time. Keep your eyes open. Something's wrong. Whack! Beautiful. Okay. Whew. Yeah, setting those up is work. But that's two more guys down. Got an amazing clipping error on this one. Although it looks like it's fixing itself. Okay. Now, onward. Uh, as I as I thought, that's the other entrance. Looks like we got two guys together over here. Yes. Wouldn't you be? The whole police force could protect the dead body. Whoever grabbed that neural hub could have access to a lot of intel. The hacker becomes the hacked. Let's just hope the bullet fried most of his hub. 
Otherwise, it'll be like that red dust operation all over again. Oh, I love it when I don't have to set them up. 65 credits and three revolver bullets. Let's hide these two. I think there are two guys left inside the entire factory. And I don't think they're anywhere near each other. I think one is inside that office and the other is up on the balcony. Toting a sniper rifle. Which makes me all but certain that trying to set those two up for a double takedown is a fool's errand. Yeah, he's up there, all by himself. I doubt I could pull him all the way downstairs, even if I wanted to. Yeah, see, he's alarmed right now. But he won't come looking. He just searches things with searches with his scope. Oh, he just does that occasionally anyway. Oh, maybe I can pull him downstairs. Let's see. to say I wanted to equip it. There we go. Uh, let's go upstairs. Trying to, trying to pull him downstairs would be a fool's errand. Let's just take him down. <laughs> My inventory cannot contain a sniper rifle. Yeah, I guess not. Since I haven't examined a normal sniper rifle yet, that's why I'm trying to pick this one up. Sniper rifle. Longsword 202 Extreme Range Sniper Rifle. ERSR. Use. High damage, extreme range lethal weapon. Ideal for headshots from afar. Description. A long range, semi automatic, high caliber rifle used by law enforcement and military specialists. The long sword is a marksman's weapon. While it possesses a small magazine capacity, the rifle's extreme accuracy against distant targets allows it to send large caliber rounds exactly where needed. It is the ultimate one shot, one kill weapon. The long sword's accuracy is balanced by its ineffectiveness at short and medium ranges. This weapon is upgradable and does support laser targeting system add ons. Upgrades. The Longsword 202 ERSR supports all standard upgrade packages and can be equipped with the Spectra Point laser targeting attachment to dramatically boost its accuracy. The weapon is not compatible with sound suppressor add-ons, however. Manufacturer Steiner Bisley GmbH. Supports a laser targeting system. Rate of fire 2 out of 10 can upgrade to 5. Reload speed 2 out of 10 can upgrade to 5. Damage output 7 out of 10 can upgrade to 10. Ammo capacity 1 out of 10 can upgrade to 4. Anyway, it would, I am all but certain it'd be a fool's errand to try and pull him downstairs, but I just, I don't know, call me crazy, but I feel compelled to try to see what happens.
Maybe if I lob a concussion grenade right here. Oh. He didn't even budge. Doesn't seem to bother him at all. Let's try getting a little closer and then I will just accept two single takedowns. that time it stunned him. while they're talking to each other. Okay, yeah, this... I'm not gonna bring them together. So let's just... hit this guy. I'm starting to get a feel for when it is and isn't possible. And I know you don't want to watch me spend... hours... trying and failing to do this over 25 experience points. Hey! 100 experience. It's like some kind of business down on the ground, or down in the lowest level. Let's see what's down here. Just a bright light, fair enough. Aha! That spits me out right at the elevator. I'm gonna guess this connects to that same shaft as well. Yep. Alright, let's check out this room. Looks like just a goodie room. Sniper rifle ammo, revolver ammo. Okay. Fair enough. Now we just have the guy inside that office. I can't actually get into these. I heard that. Come out. Okay, I probably could have just snuck up on him, but I can get him out here too. 
Doesn't matter much. All right, that's everybody in the factory. I will take an EMP grenade, thank you very much. Over here, we got 135 credits. Let's check out the top of everything. Oh, this takes me up to where the sniper was. Yeah. Alright, let's go inside this office right quick. We got 35 credits. An ammunition capacity upgrade, which I couldn't put on my pistol even if I wanted to. Yeah, I've, I've maxed it out as far as those go. Another copy of the same newspaper, Pocket Secretary. Login and passcode from rramsey at sec.fema.net to pparker at sec.fema.net. Parker, you've worked here how long and you still don't know this? Computer logins are always the number of the workstation you're using. You are WKS0012. Your password is NTLSEC59. Write it down somewhere. Okay. And we've got a level 2 computer, which we will, of course, hack. That's how we roll. Oh, we can just capture the... Capture the whole server. That makes things so much easier. Access granted. 75 credits in the data store, 50 XP for the hack. From DET WKS 0010 at sec.fema.net to DET WKS 0012 at sec.fema.net. Clean up of parking area. Parker. Don't forget to make a daily sweep over the asphalt near the bus parking. Might not have any detainees yet, but you know those blue-collar bus drivers will kill us if one of them busts the tire tread on a rusty nail or something. P.S. Episode 9 tonight? If so, let's go early. I hate standing in lines. I believe they're insinuating that George Lucas continues to bastardize the Star Wars franchise in 2027. If he's still alive then, I'm certain he will be. From Sela Beef at det.dmpd.guv to detwks0012 at sec.fema.net. Reply, gang activity. 10 4, but you'll remember this next time I'm up for review, right? Celeb. Detwks0012 at sec.fema.net wrote, Clay, I've been seeing more and more of those augmented gangers encroaching on our security perimeter. They keep it up and the general public may get wind of what's really going on in here. Jackie's going to be in touch. Give him whatever help he needs. So, you kind of see how things are tying together. This guy's working with these people and Jackie was, of course, Jack O'Malley, who was start trying to start a gang war to get rid of the MCBs who were about to discover this place. I, everything ties together. I like it. It's very neat. From J Manderley at gov.sec.net to DET staff, memo priority level one, pursuant to Article 7, Section 2 of the Revised Homeland Security Act 2012, the National Preparedness Department is issuing an emergency evac ordinance of FEMA station MICH.355.SOS.7. All construction and maintenance staff will be required to vacate the building until such time as a code green ordinance is announced, at which time it will be safe for you to return. Please be sure to clean your barracks and take all personal items with you. Failure to comply with this ordinance will be met with strict disciplinary action, as will any unauthorized discussion of this situation. Remember, loose lips sink ships. Joseph Manderly, advisor to the Deputy Administrator, National Preparedness. Very interesting. Manderly, of course. Very familiar name. Head of UNATCO in Deus Ex. But we will now head down to this elevator. 
already turned off the cameras. So let's head in here and hit the button. Now, I'll just say that when I first saw this cutscene, it's kind of when I knew this game was actually awesome. We got detention cells, bunch of dudes, FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Administration. Richard, patch me to Seraph. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. Adam, talk to me. This factory, where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issue. I know. But the soldiers who attacked us are here. And from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me. All right. Infiltrate the mercenary compound. Getting things done, 2,500. Ghost, 500. Smooth operator, 250. Total, 3,250. And our new objective is locate the mercenary leader. Seraph doesn't believe these mercs are FEMA, but it's hard to ignore the signs. The only way to know for sure is to find the man who's giving the orders. My guess is he's deep inside the facility. So I'm, I'm going to let the elevator finish moving, and then try to find a place to hide myself, and call it a video for now. As thi I've let some of these videos run too long, and it has shown. I've run into some technical difficulties. My way is faster. See? Why carry him when they can walk? Right. So why is he not walking out of here? Hang on, hang on. Gotta be one of these buttons. Alright. So, I'm gonna make a new perma save. And I'm gonna call it a video. So, thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we will tackle the FEMA Detention Center. I'll see you then.